What's up everyone, it's Joss Otuna again with more Voice of the World and once again a topic about fighting games in the FGC and it, this time it's to do with fighting game offline modes. Now obviously every fighting game has an offline mode but there is a great divide between fans of fighting games who appreciate a fighting games uh, competitive you know, versus and online modes and those who care more or at least equally about offline modes such as arcade, storyline, you know maybe score attack, survival, you know whatever the game might have and it's unfortunate but there's a huge debate between whether or not offline modes are even necessary. Some people I mean, call them purists, call them elitist, whatever, believe that fighting games should simply just have versus an online and nothing else. Versus online and training, obviously. Because a fighting game doesn't need to have a story, because fighting game stories are never good. That great old stigmatism. But fighting game stories are never good. Fighting games don't really need anything else because they're, they're just competitive games. Which is just com a completely wrong thing to say. Because for a, a long time, fighting games, like any other game, have had story modes and arcades. For various different reasons. I, for one, I, 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 I'm a completely avid fan of offline modes in fighting games. Of course, the advent of lo online gaming in fighting games is, is fantastic, allowing you to fight anyone, whenever, you know, from anywhere, basically, and, and it's just fantastic. And of course, versus mode is always there for your competitive play and casual play alike. That's perfectly fine. However, not everybody buys a video game for the same reason. Similarly, you wouldn't buy a fighting game for the exact same reason. Not everybody's going to pick up Super Street Fighter 4 just so they can, you know, train for the next EVO. Not everybody is going to play Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3 so they can learn the best technology. Most people forget, especially people in the FGC, most people forget that when somebody buys a fighting game, sometimes they just want to have, and wait for, wait for it, wait for it, I hope you're sitting down because this, this might shock you a little bit, they buy a fighting game for fun. I know that sounds crazy, I know it sounds completely unheard of, but some people buy a fighting game for fun, to play with their friends, family members, maybe even at parties, because not everyone is in the hardcore elitist crowd that, you know, wants to be the best and wants to party people and, you know, win tournaments or whatever. Some people just want to play it for fun. And the fact is, sometimes that doesn't even involve fighting other people. Yes, I know a fighting game all has to do with, you know, 1v1, some cases 2v2 or 3v3, you know, beating somebody in a competitive nature but sometimes the story the arcade and other offline modes are just as important even though some people don't seem to think so and at the end of the day as long as the fighting game is well fleshed out and it has a variety of modes it's enough to keep people interested sometimes you see fighting games get bad reviews yes i know reviews don't matter get bad reviews simply because they don't have a variety of modes and sometimes are limited to purely online versus and you know normal versus in training maybe an arcade that isn't even really fleshed out but some of the best fighting games have a variety of features for anybody to you know to play you know from Tekken to Blaze Blue to MK9 have fantastic offline and online features that make it a robust fighting game and of course there's a lot of people they'll say a few bad things against offline features but recently I well not recently but some time ago I saw a um, comment basically defending offline modes in, in fighting games and it's actually quite good and they and he said uh, yeah missing from this list and it's referring to a uh, fighting game that was talked about and it says missing from this list theater gallery all openings and endings and other unique moments like fight your rival intros should be replayable without having to go through the game again. They should adapt features from uh, from each other, customizable characters like Soul Calibur 4, good and good end movies like Namco and Tecmo, showing damage like MK vs DC, character dialogue adapting to the relationship with the opponent like Clone Wars lightsaber duels. With DVD or Blu-rays to hold the content, this should be achievable. Unlockable content should tell you the requirements in the game. You should not have to go online to learn how to unlock characters like X, Stage Y, etc. Game should also build on the previous version. Soul Calibur 5 removed all the role-playing aspects from the custom character building that was so that was so great in 4. Graphic-wise, collision detection should be perfect. On a PS3 or 360, there is no excuse uh, for hair, hats, or ribbons that flows into the character. This was acceptable on a PS2, but it isn't now. And I think that's an interesting one, and there's more comments uh, that basically uh, go on to defend offline modes in fighting games, uh, and I'm going to continue to read. 
I fully agree with this article. In my opinion, Street Fighter needs to go back to its alpha roots, or at least add air blocking. It's 2012, and there should be no excuse for not having this in it. In it. Second, extra modes are needed. Look at what Soul Calibur 3 did. It had Chronicles of the Sword. It was like an RTS and RPG put together, and it had custom fighting styles. It felt like a game within a game. Second, better story mode. Look at the awesomeness of Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue. It made you connect with your character, of like, you know, of liking. It gave you something to do before beating the hell out of someone online. Third, fighting system revamp. Like some other folks said on here, Street Fighter's combo system is sluggish. It needs to speed up. Nobody wants a clunky fighting game. It should run smooth and moves should connect better. No, cor no corners need to be cut in this department. Look at what happened to Soul Calibur 5. It was rushed. Vertical moves are damn near impossible to dodge and certain characters have way too much priority. Of course, this is all his opinion, but he does make some good points. Uh, moving on to another comment. For fighting games to catch my interest anymore, they need to have character creation, a strong single player with plenty of modes to enjoy, like the excellent Chronicles of Sword and Soul Calibur 3, more things to do than fighting. A well-designed system for the fighting game where you're... you're you aren't pitted against some other really cheap opponent who knocks you around before you can even begin. So Calibur 4 is Star Wars characters, the apprentice in particular, springs to mind since he would cause so much damage to you before you even got the chance to defend yourself. Less cameo characters who simply don't fit in. Star Wars characters in Soul Calibur 4 did not fit in. A balanced ratio of male to female characters who aren't stereotypes instead of one or two female characters in skimpy outfits with oversized breasts amid several dozen males who all look like something from a Mr. Muscle contest. Fluid control that aren't just about managing to memorize the moves, but can also allow for getting a good string of attacks without needing to write the list out. Better instructions would help as well, since they've become a confusing mess now. Things like babalities were, were a great way, a uh, great, great thing to have, because they gave some light humor to so much seriousness. Actual stories would be nice instead of the lazy contest tournament thing, and not so much focus on multiplayer only. A strong single player can make a lot of difference. An interesting comment commenting on uh, his personal gripes with the game. Um, I don't agree with everything he says, but really it's down to you to uh, determine what you like and what you don't. Uh, next comment. Fighting games are my favorite genre, but I would like to see a newcomer title. We have been seeing the same handful of series for the, like, the past few decades. My biggest complaint about fighting games is, is that the single player storyline is so bad. A lot of fighting games don't have any story at all. And let's see a few tough, uh, can't select this character, interesting bosses with no glitches. Game should have at least three interesting tough bosses that you can select as, as characters. And I always like Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution customization. Stop charging people for DLC costumes and let player, players customize their own characters. A fair point. Uh, next comment. I'm with you in, the, in, in principle, but why would you buy a fighting game if you don't want to fight? If you walk into a karate club and challenge the students, you'll get your ass kicked. Much like real martial arts, you have to train, you have to put in the practice, you have to deal with and learn from setbacks. If you don't want to do that, then no amount of modes or minigames will matter. All you get out of a fighting game is what you put in, which is basically not necessarily going against offline modes, but basically saying at the end of the day you will have to fight someone, which is the truth. Uh, next comment. Okay, so you got it right. Not, not that these fighters are bad by themselves, because they're not. They're great. They just o don't always take it to the next level, and I want to do that... I want to do more than just practice offline to play online, or just play online and that's it. Otherwise, it's just endless meaningless battles. For what? Some online win-loss ratio where people disconnect before they lose? Basically referring to online gaming and how it's not always the most uh, fair thing, especially against people who don't want to always play fair. Not in the sense of character choices or play style, but more people, you know, rage quitting and all that. We, we all know the sort. And final comment says, in no way is he endorsing watering it down. How about reading the article before opening your, your, your mouth? All they're recommending is more than just pushing out a $60, and in the UK, 40, uh, 40 quid, 40 pounds, a $60 copy-paste game that appeals strictly to serious competitors. In no way would including a more enjoyable mode of gameplay for the casual players inhibit an, an experienced competitive gamer from still getting their kicks online and at tournaments. It's likely bring out, it's likely, yeah, it likely bring out more competitors as well, but I'm sure you know better, right? It's the internet after all. Now this final comment basically just makes the point that uh, in no way does having offline modes hurt a fighting game. Look at all the fighting games that have a plethora of online, I mean, well, offline modes on top of online. In no way has it hurt the game, in no way has it hurt the fan base or the, or the competition. Unless, let's just say, the online so good people just play online more than anything else. I mean, that's up to your discretion. 
But the fact is, a fighting game can have a plethora of features for loads of different people. Otherwise, a fighting game is only trying to appeal to one type of person, and that's when a game gets stale, when a game just tries to appeal to one type of person, one type of thing. And that's not what fighting games should be doing, but try to appeal to a variety of people, but still keep the core fighting game elite, you know, elite, I guess you could say, core fighting game pro competitive fan base in mind. That way, you can enjoy it at a casual level and you can enjoy it at a competitive level. In my opinion, not just fighting games, those are the best kind of games. So a lot of these comments uh, make a few different points, but I think it's up to you really to decide what you think of offline modes and whether offline modes have a point. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this time's uh, Voice of the World. So this is Justo Tuna. I'll see you later.